On the count of three, you guys say, thank you, Luna. Say it. All right. And raise your ball when you do it. You really appreciate it. One, two, three. Kind of a pipe dream at the time and how difficult would it be and it, it was really challenging to, to even consider going to Africa and trying to do this. What I see in my own stuff is, is just a, a revision and kind of a refinement. Kind of you know we had the bike the mountain biking boom was going on and people were starting to accept it welding and it was it fit my personality it made sense it was real efficient and no nonsense. I think with any craft, you can go deeper and deeper and deeper. And I could be 100 years old and still not know everything that there is to know about my craft. And I was trying to make a better bike, you know, a stronger, better, faster, stiffer track bike. And uh, so there was no lugs for what I was trying to do. sort of dawned on me that there's a lot more composites and carbon fiber coming into the like the professional racing scene. We're seeing more and more carbon bikes trickling into the tour and that sort of thing. And I'm thinking, you know, I'll bet this is gonna grow. But I think the reality is most frame builders would prefer to just make frames and then when they're done make another frame and make it better and find out what it would take to tweak this procedure or to do that detail a little finer. People that serve that best are really special needs people. I've done a lot of strange bikes and that started me to go, what is deep custom? Houston, our first year in 2005. 